Hey everybody, Captain Mike here. I'm back at Latitude Boats here in Fort Myers, Florida. Would you believe this is our 10th episode of our Dream Boat Build series. It's incredible that we've made it this far. I look forward to doing several more videos before we get our Dream Boat Build home. If you guys are enjoying this series, let's hit that like button early. Let's get those likes up. It helps get the video out and this series out to other people who might be interested in building a boat just like this. In this episode, we're gonna go into the shop and today's a special day because we're taking the deck and liner out. That's gonna be the floor, the inside of the boat. We're also gonna check in on the customizations they're doing to my Ford live wall. Last time we were here, I gave you guys the opportunity to comment below in a previous video and tell me the difference in gallons between the standard live well and a custom live well. Well, a lot of you guys guessed it right and I'm gonna name two winners today to win the free t-shirt. There it is, Threadfin Herring. It's got the hood, it's got the sun protection. I absolutely love this shirt. Handpicked these shirts, really tried them and they're really good out there. So, I wanna give you guys the numbers here. So the standard well was 40 gallons, 40.4, about that. Pretty much everybody got that right. And then the customized well was 62 gallons. That's a big difference, guys. That's about a 21.5 gallon difference. Yeah, that's a lot. That's 21 baits, mullet, threadfin herring, however you want to you know, put your baits in there, you're gonna have a lot more space. I have a feeling this is gonna become the standard at Latitude Boats now. I'm gonna have to make a mold or something. All right. <laughs> and you guys can call it like the real reports live well or something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> call it the mic. I want a mic special. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna pick only one winner, but I had to pick two. So what I wanna do is I wanna give away a shirt to the first person that got it right, which was Jonathan Walter. You're the first winner. Just go ahead and hit me up at micarealports.com with your size and address and I'll send it out to you. The next winner is gonna be Chad Chitwood. Chad, just let me know in the, in the send me an email at micarealports.com with your address and shirt size as well. I'm also gonna like the comments so you guys know that you won. And also while we're here, Shane was telling me that your son loves yeah. the video series, oh, yeah. especially because you're in it, right? Well, that's one of them. So let's yeah. see you put this bad boy on here. This is gonna go right to your son, but oh wow, check that out. That's that's nice. He'll love that. So it's got the hood on it for the sun protection. I like the hood way better than wearing a buff because it's not as hot, it's not as constricting. So That's there it nice. is, the first livebait.com shirt. Your son, what's your son's name? Tyler. Tyler, all right, Tyler, there you go, man. <laughs> Shoot me a picture when you got this thing on if you're out catching some fish or something. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right, cool, man. I appreciate I, it. I know we can't shake hands, we can do this oh, though. Oh, oh yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there it is, the deck and liner came out of the mold. This is gonna go in the boat here pretty soon. But that's the second piece of this three-piece construction that we're doing. First you got the hole, then you got the deck and liner that goes inside, and then eventually we'll put the cap on. You guys can see underneath the boat there, underneath the, the liner there, those are the, 
the bait well's the middle one. You got the hatches, and you got that big fish box right there. And in the back of the boat, we got three hatches as well. Alright, so the deck and liner here, you see this one piece is out of the mold. There's the Whisper Gray gel coat. And you guys saw the process, the same process building the boat. They did, Shane sprayed the mold with Whisper Gray gel coat. Then they did that skin coat. Then they did the lamination. And here we are, you know, a couple weeks later, pulled out of the mold. And eventually this is going to go into my boat. But before we do that, Shane's going to explain to us what we need to do this deck and liner. You've seen how much of a perfectionist he is. He's gonna get this thing perfect before it goes in the boat. So let's talk to Shane here. What do we gotta do to this thing now? All right, well, what we're gonna do is basically, gotta, I have another liner that is a little bit farther along. Okay. So your liner, it's basically, as you see it, it came out. Now, if we walk over here, this is what we're gonna do to it. We're gonna trim out all of the hatch receivers. And then after that, um, we do the the rigging tube okay. for that goes backwards, the uh, four inch rigging tube. So that's and gonna be inside the console? Yeah, that's, yeah, when yeah. it's okay. finished, I just have to install the rigging tube on the liner before we install it on the actual stringer and hull because, you know, it's not accessible after sure. the fact. Okay. So certain things we have to do prior to installation of the liner. You know, that's one of them. We don't have to do too much to it. Like a standard liner, we would put it up on barrels after we test fit it, because when I test fit it, I climb in all the holes and I scribe out where the stringers and bulkheads okay. actually touch. So that lets me know positioning of your forward rigging tube, because I have to do it by measurement because all the liners, they fit a little bit different, so I can't just do a generic measurement off of the bow or the stern. So I have to put it in, measure it, and get my total length for your forward rigging tube, and then cut it. But some of the other things is like, usually would go up on barrels and we would glass a live well on the bottom of it, but you're not getting the standard light bulb. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna cut out one of these hatches here. It looks like he's gonna start with the bilge hatch here first. And uh, that's how they open up these hatches here. And eventually will finish them off and we'll have some actual hatches that go on top of it.
he added a little bit more bondo in a, in a couple spots. There was a, when we got, when they got done uh, grinding it, because we put gel on it, used the gel to fare with, and then there was a couple little air voids, so they dragged a little bit of bondo. We'll sand those a little bit, and then after that, I'm going to spray the heavenly blue to make it nice and shiny. So that's the next step. it hot as it's starting to cure that's what will make it dry fast and dry real good because it will actually cure not just air dry you'll get a chemical cure there's a difference All right, guys, so that's it for us from Latitude Boats here in Fort Myers. We got to see a lot of cool stuff here today, including the deck and liner coming out of the mold. We finally got that second piece of the boat build that we really needed right there to keep moving forward. Also, we got to see Shane finish up that customized bait well there, spraying it in that blue. It just looks beautiful. So when we come back here, we're going to see a lot more of the same, including the deck and liner here. At some point, it'll go into the boat where they do their process of squeezing it, using that RJ to get it into the actual boat there, and then they foam, all kinds of cool stuff to see there. We also got the cap still to be built over there, and just a lot of cool little customizations as we continue to go through this process. I'm Captain Michael, Tightlines.